What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with more Tour de France here on PCM21 and today we have the first pure sprinter stage into Pont TV starting in Lorient as well. To me, it's Caleb Ewan, the big favourite today, but Arnold Demar, Wout Van Aert, Malia, they all have a chance and we'll see how we get on with our boy Peter Sagan. So Peter Sagan has swapped yellow for green in our playthrough right here, but in real life guys, I must say Ida Schelling has put on a show so far at the Tour de France. He's in the polka dot jersey, but I cannot get him in the jersey in this playthrough. And we're in a very similar situation as well. Look at this. Schelling is tied on points at the top of the classification, like he is in real life in the real Tour de France. But today is the day we are getting Ida in this jersey. So we are dangling out the front right now with Ida Schelling, but I don't want to burn him out completely. We need someone to join us right now and help us get away from the fast chasing back. So many attacks right now. It was really hard fought for, but Ida Schelling is up the road. We have Cabo and Georg Zimmermann here as well. And we do have two minutes on the rest of the pack. So we are up the road. These guys don't have any KOM points just yet. Come on, Schelling. We need a single point at one KOM to take this jersey. By the way, guys, how good has Wilco Kelderman looked at the tour this year in real life? He was the only rider able to follow Roglic and Pogaccio Bar Van Der Poel, of course, who won the stage on stage two yesterday. And I'm really looking out for Wilco. He could be a real dark horse for a podium here. Okay then, 2K to go. This is the biggest two kilometers of the stage so far, by far, for Ida Schelling and these guys in the breakaway. Cabo and Zimmerman, neither are particularly punchy, and I do feel we should be able to take this one if we lead them out from the front. Here we go, up to 95, 99. They're trying to go past us. Here goes Ida Schelling. I've gone too late, have I? Have I really gone too late? Here comes Schelling on the left-hand side of the row. What an acceleration. And Ida Schelling goes up to four points. Let's go. We move into the polka dot jersey here. Now we do have only 2k to go to this intermediate sprint in the peloton. We're a bit further back this time than we have been so far at this race. Come on, Os, put Sagan right at the front if you can. Doesn't matter what Schelling is doing up the road. It matters what Sagan is doing here. And I think we just beat Mads Pedersen right there. It was pretty close. Let's take a look. Mads Pedersen actually did beat us on that occasion, 13 points for him but still we have a very nice points total with Sagan already. So the Peloton do have the breakaway and either Schelling in their sights but we only have a couple K to go until the next KOM. Let's try and open up our lead to two points. Oh and these guys go early, very early in fact. Almost 2k to go to the line and Cabo is going for it very early on. 1k to go, there goes Georg Zimmermann but I'm sure Ida Schelling should have enough right here to come round those guys. What a man. What a rider, and we move up to five points. Let's go, Ida Schelling in polka dots. Only 12k to go then, and I do think it's going to be pretty crucial coming to that little downhill section right at the front of this race. So that is exactly what I'm going to try and do here with Lucas Postelberger on the front. Oh no, oh no, Wilco Kelderman, he's punctured. He's punctured, can we get him seen to? Oh, we just about can, but he needs to move right back up to the front of this race. Oh, bit of panic right there. Let's slow it a little bit to try and help Wilco make sure he stays to the front. But we are now really at the front of this race, entering this little downhill section. Daniel Ost now on the front of this group. We have Marissa here. We have Rickart as well. Where are the favorites? Caleb Ewan, really far back right now for uh, his liking, surely, if you ask me. Only three kids go. Daniel Ost doing God's work, but here comes Matthew Vanderpool. What's a descender? What's a lead out he is doing for his man? Now Nils Pollitt, ready to lead out Peter Sagan. We're ready to go into the final kilometer. Here goes Sagan going a little early, trying to get his big power going to the line. We're going for it with Peter Sagan. But I think it's going to be a very close finish here. But Tim Mullier just ahead of Peter Sagan. What an effort that was though. And Wilco Keldman will finish, I do believe, in the front of the race. So I wanted to get a better shot here. Coming into the final kilometre, we have Guarnieri here, actually. Demar much further back. Malia, though, on the right-hand side. Really, really close one there. Just missing out for us. I don't think there's too much more we could have done there. I felt our lead-out was really strong. But Tim Malia just too quick for Sagan on this occasion. Nonetheless, a really strong stage for us. No time lost in GC with Wilco Kelderman, of course. And obviously... 
In the points jersey, we are looking fine right now. Almost double the points of Malia, who is second place. And to add to that, Ida Schelling on five points. Sadly, I couldn't get a shot of him on the podium because I chose to look at the race replay instead. I don't know why you can't do both of those. PCM, you've got to fix that. Anyway, stage four to Fougere is going to be another sprint stage. Pretty short one, just over 150k. And we're going to do our best with Peter again. But if you enjoyed today, make sure you smash that like button. Drop a sub on the channel as well if you're new. And I will see you guys in the next one.